right, so a lot of you mentioned in one of my hair care videos how you have to comb your hair while it's damp because of the texture of your hair. I recommend using a really wide tooth comb with uh, blunt edges to reduce damage to the hair shaft itself as opposed to a really narrow spaced comb. When the hair is wet and it's combed, it's very vulnerable to damage. Oh. Whoa, this takes me back to uh, middle school and uh, slumber parties. We used to use these. They actually worked pretty well. I had a friend who was really good at putting these in and she would do my hair with them. She had, she was just really meticulous and I would come out looking like that actually. <laughs> Only a 13 year old. <laughs> so not quite that glamorous, but yeah, it, it, these worked. The nice thing about them is they don't, they don't require any heat. Heat uh, from hairstyling is another real bugaboo when it comes to damage to the hair. Curling irons and flat irons are the worst offenders, but the close contact with the flat irons and the curling irons, that, that's really damaging on the hair. Likewise, hair dye, the whole issue with hair dye is it's gonna just ruin the keratin structure. That's how dyes work. There's no dye that's that gets around that, you know. People are always asking like for a quote unquote safe hair dye recommendation. I mean they all are going to to damage the keratin structure of the hair shaft. And now that's obviously not permanent in the sense that once your hair grows out, uh, you have new new growth and no longer have that damage in place. But yeah, all all hair dye um, in order for the, the hair to take up the dye, there, there's damage to the keratin proteins. So if you, if you dye, color treat your hair and you use a flat iron, that is really a, quite a recipe for, for a lot of hair damage, unfortunately. And of course, never, never use a flat iron to uh, damp hair or a curling iron. That will just really wreak havoc and ruin your hair shaft. And if you use uh, heat styling, I do recommend using a heat protector. Unfortunately, obviously, they're all going to have fragrance and then they can, um, you know, transfer onto your face and cause acne cosmetica. But uh, I do recommend using them if you're gonna, if you're gonna use a hair dryer. I'm holding this one up just as a point to use a heat protector. I don't know if it's any good or not. It has kelp extract. Now kelp is a very good humectant, so that is good for the hair. And then it has banana pulp and peel extract. Probably has some amino acids and things that can deposit on the hair shaft and strengthen the hair. Does this have any sort of sun protection in it? That's actually helpful. It says it does, I think. That actually can be helpful in reducing some of the weathering on the hair shaft. Sun also oxidizes the color in your hair and changes the hair color and also just ages the hair. The darker your hair, the less susceptible your hair shafts are. I'm talking about the hair shafts, not the scalp. The darker your hair, like if you have dark brown hair, it's less susceptible to damage from the sun. The, sh the shafts themselves are than if you have gray hair or blonde, lighter hair t colors, more susceptible to, or more susceptible to UV damage because they have less, less melanin. Now, you know, I tell you guys obviously to make every effort to avoid fragrance. That being said, sometimes there are products that you're not going to find a fragrance-free version of and they are really useful. And don't be fooled, just because a product is free of added fragrance doesn't mean you can't develop a problem to it. So it's not, it's not a guarantee if a product is fragrance-free that it's problem-free. And sometimes there are pro products that have fragrance in them that are really helpful, like anti-dandruff shampoos. It can be hard to find an anti-dandruff shampoo that is free of added fragrance. Obviously, Vanny Cream makes one. Um, but uh, yeah, that's one. And uh, like, I believe Nizerol shampoo even has fragrance in it. And I recommend that all the time. Neutrogena's oil-free acne wash has fragrance in it. I recommend that. That's on my little list. I told you guys I have a list that I give to patients of uh, drugstore recommendations for them to go pick up. Like if I want them to eat an acne patient to use an over-the-counter acne wash, it's helpful to give them a list of options as opposed to saying buy this exact one. Uh, it's helpful to give them a list of options, and I include that. That way, depending on their budget and what's available, 
they have options and skewing them towards one or the other you know I don't like to I don't want to I don't want to over represent a brand or something um, it's not fair to them so I try and give a, a few several options oh you guys I've never seen this before beauty 360 has eye makeup remover pads I bet these burn and are irritating because of the propylene glycol. Propylene glycol is not a bad ingredient. It can just be very irritating. Um, I would imagine around the eyes in particular. Let me know, you guys, does this work well to take off uh, mascara? This one doesn't have any mineral oil in it. It's oil free. Some people have, you know, you actually have oil glands in your eyes. That's what uh, creates the lipid film within your tears. Part of the lipid, part of your tears have lipids in them. And so the same oil glands that are on your face that are associated with pores and oiliness are also, there are also versions of those sebaceous glands in your eye. And people can have uh, styes develop in that gland. And uh, there's, so that's why they're kind of marketing the oil-free uh, version uh, for, for that situation. But it's a little misleading because if you're suffering from styes and whatnot, you need to just like stop using eye makeup while the sty heals. You don't want to use any, get rid of all of your makeup, um, for sure, all of your eye makeup that you've been using, and uh, take, a, take a complete hiatus from it until the sty is resolved. Yeah, you're going to want to get rid of all of the eye makeup that you were using and replace it. Once the sty is healed, you want to go back to using makeup. And then you're gonna to wanna to sterilize your eyelash curlers if you use those. Side note, eyelash curlers, common cause of allergic contact dermatitis on the eyelids because they often have nickel in them. And so nickel is a very common allergen, very common. So much so that in Europe, they actually regulate the amount of nickel that is present in things. It's really hard to avoid nickel totally because a lot of other metals have nickel within them. They're alloys, cobalt in particular. Cobalt's actually very rare and it's almost impossible to have pure cobalt. It's inevitably an alloy that contains nickel. So people who are allergic, really allergic to nickel and have really bad contact dermatitis to nickel can often have issues with cobalt as well. And cobalt is blue, so it's added as a pigment to a lot of makeup. Oh cool, Crayola came out with washable pens, washable gel pens. Has anyone used these? Do they work? I'm kinda tempted. I actually do need new pens. I know I'm always telling you guys, don't let me buy more pens, I've got too many, but I'm actually kind of due for some new ones. You silly sense. Okay, grow up, Andre, you don't need that. <laughs> yes, has planners too. I've been using my Blue Sky Ahenda and I've really been jazzed with it. I just, I'm enjoying having the ring bound, the, uh, not ring bound, the uh, binder system. Is that ring bound? I don't know what I'm talking about. This one looks nice. Yeah, blue sky. I have a um, binder. I really like it. I had a blue sky before my Erin Condren, and I was happy with it. It was about this size. I recommend them. They're 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 good, budget friendly. My mom uses the Happy Planner, and she loves that thing. These are what I use at work. Pilot G2s. I like them because it's nice to have a clicky pen. That way it doesn't leak all over your coat pocket. <laughs> and I'll, I only write in blue or black ink uh, for clinical work because red is a no-go. A pharmacist explained to me why that is. It's like some rule in medicine. You're only supposed to write in blue or black ink. I can't remember why red and colors are not allowed. Um, just erase that from my memory. Hi, everybody. You look nice today. Happy Sunday. I feel nice. <laughs> you feel nice? Yeah. That's good. I don't think you ever feel mean. Oh, I do. Sometimes. <laughs> Did you find what you were looking but for? I don't have my coffee. Look what I bought myself. Um, I needed a new mascara. So I'm going to try this Bambi on. <laughs> Oh, okay. You'll have to let us know if uh, that gives yeah. you a... <laughs> they have this um, 
eye makeup remover by Beauty 360. Do, do you use an eye makeup remover? I use that Paula, Paula's Choice one. Yeah. That's in there. Does that work well? Not too well, but yeah, it gets the job done. That's what you've been using. Yeah. You've had that for a long time. I know. I want to get rid of it. It's, it's a huge that. bottle. And then I sometimes just use Vaseline. You know that works the best. It does, yeah. Because it seems to melt it. It does. Yeah. Yeah, I think Vaseline is probably... Okay, I'm not a fan of these Lonnie and Larry's cookies, but I recently had their keto version. No, I don't follow a ketogenic diet or anything or really care about like these things. I just like them in a pinch. Um, and it was actually really good. But I love my no cow bars. I don't think I've tried raspberry truffle yet. Chunky peanut butter is really good. And when I say really good, I mean, put it in perspective, it's a protein bar, so it has that kind of grainy taste to it. God, I'm so annoyed by these Samba Call commercials. The power of a thousand black elderberries. Like, just stop saying that. That doesn't make it powerful if you just keep repeating that. Another case for fragrance containing products. I will totally get on board with any kind of sunless tanner that you guys are on, are using, as opposed to going out in the sun and getting a sun induced tan or a even worse a tanning bed induced tan so deadly uh yeah uh fragrance contact dermatitis is much less malignant than melanoma so yeah there's a case for fragrance i have a video on um all about uh, fake tan fake tan sunless tanners so check that out but yeah i totally advocate them they are safe dihydroxyacetone is safe much safer i mean it's safe period and uh if that's if that's what you want to have a, a tan you know a glow a natural a, a tan use it a sunless tanner you have to experiment with your own i'm not going to be reviewing sunless tanners because that's not really my jam but yeah i totally support you guys using it as a matter of fact the one that i actually used to use when i was in college and was always very happy with let's see if they, i'm sure they have it in here let's go find it yeah i'm so happy that i used this in college and did not go to a tanning bed those were that was very common yeah it's the jurgens natural glow this works really well you just use it i think i would just use it like every other day for a few weeks and it did the trick. That's the only thing I've ever used as far as a sunless tuner. I wonder if the Beauty 360 brand is good. It does have a strong fragrance though. I've never ever seen a fragrance free sunless tanner. I'm waiting for that to come out. The light therapy acne spot treatment is actually really useful. Red and blue light um, are part of, are helpful for acne. They have the all over face mask that uh, is a better bet, but this is useful for spot breakouts. These are actually pretty effective. Um, when these first came out, I was really suspicious of them, but they actually are helpful, especially in the setting of uh, pregnancy where you can't use, there's, you know, a lot of the over-the-counter stuff is contraindicated in pregnancy, like salicylic acid. This is useful and it can help calm down a pimple. Also, Neutrogena, well, it looks like this got marker on it here, came out with a makeup remover melting balm that is free of added fragrance. Um, it uh, looks like a good one. I noticed they also came out with this peptide setting spray. These, unfortunately, can be very irritating. Uh, the makeup setting sprays, I don't recommend them. Um, I know they help the makeup stay on, but they also make the makeup more irritating than it already is. Yeah, another case for fragrance is hand washing. Don't sacrifice good hand hygiene if all that's available to you is a fragrance containing soap because most likely when you're out in public, the hand soap that you're gonna be using is gonna have fragrance in it. So that's another reason. I mean, hand hygiene is really important, obviously now in cold and flu season and uh, for reducing transmission of germs. And I mean, it should be obvious that it's important to wash your hands. So that's another case for, for using fragrance containing products. I mean, it's like, don't sacrifice hand hygiene for the sake of avoiding fragrance. Somebody got a new do.
Don't you look dapper. Hey, everybody. I'm ready to play with my ladybug. <laughs> Little boy. King Tybee, when you pull a banana off, uh -huh. he comes running. He knows. He also knows when you open the uh, dry roasted peanut jar, he comes running. You can't get away. Well, you know, I tried to sneak in, but he knows. So he has to have his banny. He has to have the, the end, a little nubbin? Yeah. Oh, it's cute watching him eat it, too. Here, oops. There you go. Got you wrapped around my fluffy tail, woman. I sure you do. Got me like a... Tabby bow. One more. One more. That's my boy. He's so sweet. And, you know, he wouldn't want to come bossy. He's bossy. Yes. He's bossy paws. Ooh, oatmeal and banana. Yep, and flaxseed. <laughs> He's at it. In his toy box. He gets, like, demanding that he has to have that open so he can go in there make and sure organize. He's like, make sure they're all okay. <laughs> You're too much. You're too much. Honey Boy. We watched a movie last night called Honey Boy. What did you think of it? I thought the movie was really well done. Yeah. So shocking. I didn't realize that Shia LaBeouf, LaBeouf was... Uh, I just remember him from the Disney Channel and then a few other movies where I realized he was a good actor, but I haven't really kept up with... He I didn't realize he's had such a. Uh... He actually made that movie. Yeah. And it's a biography. Yeah, yeah. And a story of his relationship with his father, damaged father. If he he did have a career as a child mm -hmm. um, in movies in the movie industry, why didn't the people from the movie industry intervene in the way he was living? I don't, that was odd. Because that was, you know, yeah. child welfare. labor. Yeah. That was really disturbing. I'm sure a lot of that goes on. You recall a little while ago I purchased this beginner guide to crochet. It's a really good book. And the first pattern is a little cozy for a French press, which I just finished. And I sewed these little buttons on it to kind of make it, I don't know, a little extra. But this is a craft from an older French press that stopped working. The little top kind of broke. And I saved the craft. And I think what I'm going to do is put that on my desk and put some flowers or something in it. So yeah. But I just put a little Velcro in there, but you can just slide it off and on. Yeah, this book is really good. He wants his toys. <laughs> well, hey guys, I just got home and I wanted to show you, I got a Cooley Bar catalog in the mail. Yeah, who gets catalogs anymore? But they do send me a catalog from time to time. I guess, I guess seasonally. I love their clothing. The UPF 50 um, just kind of gives you some reassurance that you have a fabric that is protective. But check out my video on sun protective clothing. I go over sort of how this plays a role in things versus other fabrics and what to look for in choosing fabrics that are sun protective. You certainly do not need dedicated UPF 50 clothing. But I do, that being said, I do love Cooley Bar. Everything I have ever purchased that is Cooley Bar has lasted and I continue to, to use it. I've actually never purchased a bathing suit from them. I should do that. I bet they're really good quality. Yeah, their hats are amazing. Ooh, I actually like that little dress. That's cute. 
yeah, some of their clothing is a little like, I don't know, not stylish, but they've kind of got, they've gotten better over the years. It's sort of like resort wear, golf wear, I would say active wear. That's cute. It's nice that the sleeves are adjustable so you can make it short sleeve while you're inside and then long sleeve while you're out. They're cool. They also have men's clothing and they have kids clothing too. They have kids hats. Let's see. And they also have sunglasses from time to time. Do they have them in the catalog today? They always have them on the website. So yeah, Coolie Bar, really happy with them. But a less expensive UPF 50 clothing brand that I'm actually currently wearing right now, I've got their pants on, I've just got them adjusted as capris, but is uh, Eclipse, is the name of the brand? Here, I'll come over to the window. Yeah, the Eclipse stuff is really good. I've been happy with everything that I purchased from them. I got several things from Amazon that I purchased through their website before, and they've also sent me stuff. Uh, after showing it on my Instagram, they sent me some stuff as a thank you. So yeah, that brand is really good and um, a little less expensive, but again, you don't have to have dedicated UPF 50 clothing, but definitely check out my video. I go on and on about the differences between the weaves, and then also you can buy this stuff to put in your washing machine that will actually put a little bit of you put sunscreen into the clothing it doesn't last indefinitely but it's really good for if you're going to go on a trip to the beach or something just for some short-term extra spf in your fabric so yeah anyways guys i hope you all enjoyed the vlog today wandering around walgreens and hanging out with Ty B, but I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope you all loved it. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, bye.